well friends this is our english period and we are learning the poem the tale of custard the dragon already we have learned half part of the poem in that we have seen that one small girl name is uh, belinda is a very small girl and he ha she has four pets first was ink ink is a black kitten the second one is blink gray ha mouse then mustard is a yellow dog and custard is a dragon so these are the four characters uh, which we have seen in the poem also we have seen the information about the poet who is uh, Frederick Nash who is an american poet who is uh, known for his uh, humorous way of writing poems also uh, his uh, his he has written ballads and light verse in the first part of the poem we have seen that how this four miss ink blink mustard and belinda make fun of custard who is dragon actually uh, we know and i have described also in the first part of the poem that uh, dragon is a very you know very dangerous and very big animal and uh, if you see the uh, kitten or mouse or dog these are very small creature and but this three are or this belinda is one of also one of the small girl uh, this four are making fun of uh, his courage its courage custard dragon's courage they show uh, that you are very timid you are very coward and he is also accepted that that i am very coward these all are very brave and he is just finding the cage to live very safely like that we have seen and he never argue with them and he admitted that i am very coward uh, than this being blink and mustard and belinda also looking the same and already we have seen the description about this all how they are so this was the first part of the poem so first uh, once again i'm going to read the poem for you so that you can recall this belinda lived in a little white house with a little black kitten and little gray mouse and little yellow dog and little red, red wagon and a really a really a little pet dragon now the name of the little black kitten was in and the little gray mouse he called him blink and the yellow dog was sharp as mustard but the dragon was cowed and she called him custard custard the dragon had big sharp teeth and spikes on top of him and scales underneath mouth like a fireplace chimney for a nose and really a trillio dragus on his toes belinda was as brave as barrel full of bears and he can blink chase the lion down the stairs mustard was as brave as tiger in the rage but custard cried for a nice safe cage belinda tickled him she tickled him unmerciful in blink and mustard they rudely called him percival they all sat laughing at the little red wagon at the relio trillio cowardly dragon Belinda giggled till she shook the house, and Blink was weak, which is giggling for a mouse. Ink and Mustard rudely asked his age when Custard cried for a nice safe cage. So this part we have learned, and by this we can understand that how these all four made fun on Custard, the very huge and very mighty dragon. Now we will see the second part of the poem. Suddenly, suddenly, they heard a nasty sound. Suddenly, suddenly, it's a repetition device. When two consecutive words are repeated again, again, for suddenly, suddenly, these two words are there, which are repeated in this line. So it is repetition figure of speech. Suddenly, suddenly, they heard a nasty, mis unpleasant, very big sound, and mustard growled, and they all looked around. May which cried in may which. miss you know that how uh, cat cry oh cried belinda for there was a pirate robber climbing in the window so now suddenly what happened one very big nasty sound they heard and at that time mustard growled and mustard is a dog and he it growled and they all looked around may which cried ink and oh cried belinda for there was a pirate robber 
climbing in the wind up. Pistol in his hand. How was the robber? How was the pirate? He he had pistol. You know pistol by which we can uh, kill one of the or suppose robber will bring that and he will shoot. Then we can die also by the uh, bullet of the pistol. In his hand, pistol in his right, and he held in his teeth a cutlass bright. One of the weapon which very sharp one. He hold it within his teeth. His beard was black. How was the, uh, that? Pirate, his beard was black, one leg was wood, means he might have fought somewhere and that is why his one leg was, uh, many may be lost, he has lost one leg, that is why he had made his another leg by wood. So by this we can understand how he was or how he is. He is very very dangerous and that is why he might have fought somewhere and that is why he has lost his Lake. It was clear that the pirates mean to no good and by the description, by the uh, appearance of the, uh, that pirate, we can understand he is not at all good. He is not at all very good person and he can kill anyone because uh, he has brought something like a uh, pistol uh, with bullet and also some very, very uh, dangerous tool in his mouth. Belinda paled and she cried help help but Master fled with the terrific yell. Ink trickled down to the bottom of the household and little mouse bling strategically mouse hold. So now we can understand by this stanza before in the first part of the stanza we, of the poem we have understood that they are just boasting themselves that we are very powerful we are very brave than this Custer dragon. But now situation has arisen or has arisen that somebody has come, somebody has attacked on these and that time all become so nervous, they become so frightened and they just try to get read, try to get rescue from these and they have find out their own safe place to hide. Don't forget that they were just trying to make fun on dragon that he wants safe cage to live in but now when the situation has come very negative or very inverse situation has come that time all these four Belinda, Ink, Blink and Mustard try to find out their places to hide but Custard was still, still remain there who was uh, you know fighting very bravely there but they jumped Custard snorting like an engine at a time when they see the custard, he was snarling. Snarling means what? Very making a big noise. Like an engine. Clash his tail like iron in the dungeon. Mean imprisonment, okay. So clash his tail. He was just waving his tail. He making the noise of his tail. With a clatter and clang and jaggling squirm. Miss twisted manner. He went at the pirate like a robin at a worm. You know robin bird? how when he gets any worm how robin would attack on that uh, worm like that he attacked on that pirate who custard who was said that he is very timid he is very uh, you know coward who said that this four belinda ink blink and mustard said that they they made him known for that that he is very timid and he is every time he wanted safe case to live in the pirate gaped at the Belinda's dragon and gulped some char gore from his pocket pack dragon. And now the pirate gaped, he watched at the Belinda's dragon. And what he had done? He had gulped, he had swallowed some wine from his pocket and he fired two bullets on Custard the dragon. But they didn't hit and Custard gobbled him every bit. And what happened? When she has, uh, when that pirate has seen, the robber has seen this custard, then he had drunk some wine, and then he uh, shoot two bullets out at him. But nothing had uh, happened with that bullet to custard dragon. And what exactly custard done? He had gobbled, he swallowed, swallowed him very every bit. Belinda Amrat and then when he shallowed him, when he eat up all uh, whole pirate, then this all four, Belinda, Ink, Blink and Mustard came and they become so happy, they become so, you know, uh, very, they become so delighted. Why? Because they got rescue. 
they got rescued from this uh, you know very mighty attack of that parrot so what uh, belinda did she embarrassed embarrassed uh, him mustard licked him you know what is the quality when uh, any uh, when we uh, become so happy we hug someone or we show that uh, expression then suppose any dog will be happy he will lick uh, no one mourn for his pirate victim blink and blink uh, in glee uh, did great with you know circular movement they were just uh, trying to uh, roam uh, or following the custard okay you know that uh, mouse and cat always uh, when they become happy they try to uh, walk in a circular motion like that and around the dog and at the parrot and they were showing uh, their happiness towards uh, the dragon because the dragon has saved their life but presently a spoke little dog mustard and now what happened the mustard dog spoken i had been uh, twice as brave if i hadn't been flustered flustered means what if i would not got uh, nervous then i would be you know double uh, braver than him than the dragon and up spoke in can uh, up spoke the blink we had uh, we would have been uh, thrice time as brave we think and custer said i quite agree that everybody is braver than me and now they are boasting again that uh, if you uh, you would not got uh, nervous then would have been uh, much braver than uh, this custer and custard was very very you know humble person humble creature and he said okay i agree with that you are braver than me belinda still lives in her little white house with her little black kitten and her little gray mouse and her little yellow dog and her little ye- uh, red wagon and her really really truly little pet dragon so belinda is as brave as barrel full of beers again again they are boasting with the same She is uh, full of beers, and in blink, chase the lion down the tra- stairs. They can chase the lion also. Mustard is brave as tiger in a rage, but custard keeps c- crying for a nice safe cage. So again, even though they have uh, gone through one of the very toughest situation in their life, but then too they never accept that that dragon is a uh, braver than them. So this is what the poem. Uh, was now we will see that what exactly the meaning of the poem what was the exactly the summary of the poem what is the central theme of the poem so here it is a humorous character actually uh, if we compare these all four characters and then custard then we can't uh, say that firmly that uh, custard is very weakest right so if custard can eat up that pirate then what about these four ink blink mustard and belinda so we should not even though one of the person who is looking so timid or looking so different but at the particular situation how he react that depends on uh, that depends right so we should not judge the book by its cover so that is very very great thing we can understand by this that someone is looking so timid or someone looking so happy it not means that he is happy he might be uh, trying to convince other happy but he might not be or somebody is looking so timid but he might at the situation when uh, something requires more that time he can show the courage or presence of mind so that what we have to understand so we should not uh, insult any character when we uh, come across any person uh, so we should not insult him by the uh, appearance we have to understand the character we have to respect each and every character we should not insult them so if we see throughout the poem we can understand that uh, the rhyme scheme throughout the poem is a b b and if we think last stanza with 13 stanza there is a a b b and c c rhyme scheme okay it's a ballad another thing we can understand poetic device simile means most of the time uh, like a uh, engines not in like a uh, engine many are there when like as like uh, these words comes then we can understand it's a simile okay then alliteration when same consonants are repeating again again so it's alliteration so many examples of alliteration also we can see there 
then already i have taught i have just explained repetition in this poem that suddenly suddenly these two words uh suddenly word come again again consecutively so it's a repetition figure of speech or literary device so that we have understood so okay so simile alliteration and repetition these are the uh poetic devices we have seen in this poem so you have to find out the examples already i have taught you many times uh, several times about this uh, simile metaphor uh, alliteration repetition so this uh, you, uh, the concept of this is very very clear to you all so you have to find the examples of that okay so this poem is uh, uh, always miss this poem tells us that we should not judge the person by its outer outer look or outer appearance we have to respect each and every individual from this point we have to understand this and uh, we have to be very practical in this life by this so i feel that you have understood this poem and you will write if any questions will come if any question will come in the cbse board exam so till then thank you thank you very much